Hey Virgo, how are you doing? Um, in this reading we'll have three separate spreads. In the first spread we'll be looking at what you should be aware of right now and uh, it could be pretty much anything, whatever comes up. In the second spread we'll see the advice for the situation, we'll be talking about the first spread and uh, in spread number three we'll see the next good thing that'll happen to you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Here's what you should be aware of right now, Virgo. Uh, we have uh, the Nine of Cups clarified by the Ace of Wands, we have the Ace of Cups uh, clarified by the Hierophant, then we have the Eight of Swords clarified by the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, and we have the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus or pretty much any Zodiac sign. I think we have uh, every single element on the table. So, you've got an offer coming your way. You do have a really good offer coming your way, but uh, you're not going to be 100% convinced that this is something you want, that this is something you've been waiting for, anticipating. You're going to be like, um, I'm not so sure. That's how it feels, Virgo. Okay, but the offer is coming your way. Yeah, maybe two offers. Right, we have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Ace of Wands, then it's followed up by the Ace of Cups clarified by the Hierophants. For some of you, it could be two different offers, but for most of you, it's a, it's a part of the package. It's a part of the same offer, right? Uh, perhaps you may think this person is not serious about you in the beginning, because the first two cards are the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Uh, nothing wrong with those two cards, but uh, the Ace of Wands is all about passion. Right? The Nine of Cups uh, could be a card of like personal satisfaction and fulfillment. In some tarot decks, the Nine of Cups looks like a party. There's people sitting around the table, eating, drinking. In some other decks, in the Nine of Cups, people are standing around and celebrating. So perhaps you could meet this person at some kind of an event. Or perhaps you always had like an idea or a vision what would be the correct, the right person for you, Virgo, right? The Nine of Cups is a wish come true, right? But uh, the universe has a really good sense of humor. Trust me, it really does. Sometimes uh, people or things come our way, but they don't exactly look like we uh, picture it in our head. <laughs> so perhaps you had a particular vision, a particular picture of, in your head of a person, you know, or the status, the level they're supposed to be at, and there's nothing wrong with that, that means standards, having standards is always good, I actually promote having standards, right, but um, then we have the Ace of Cups clarified by the Hierophant, I, th I still think it's the same uh, person, right, the second Ace is here, uh, the Ace of Cups is all about genuine, authentic love, the Hierophant clarifying it could be a Taurus, you're dealing with, but the Hierophant is a card of something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. So I think the offer is legit. I think, I believe the offer is legit, Virgo. You, on the other hand, are not going to be on board right away, or not going to be on board at all, I don't know. But we do have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the uh, Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. We also have the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck. The Two of Swords could be interpreted a couple of different ways. First of all, it's a card of somebody who is closed off. Or it's a card of a crossroads, right? Um, the Eight of Swords, uh, I think this is you stuck in your, in your own thoughts. For some of you, like I said, you already pictured this person or the, per the correct person for you. And now it's like a cognitive dissonance, right? Uh, it's, the pictures don't match. The picture you have in your head doesn't match with what you actually get. <laughs> and uh, the Eight of Swords, this is you overthinking a little bit. Perhaps something about this person is just not the lining, like I said. Something is a little bit off. Or you may think, is this something that I really waited for? Speaking of waiting, the Seven of Pentacles, clarifying the Eight of Swords, is a card of waiting. It's also a card of like somebody who is looking at those Pentacles and they're examining, they're evaluating them. So I think this is you still trying to understand if this is what you always wanted, you always waited for, you always pictured in your head. The Nine of Pentacles, this, that's you, Virgo. The person in the Nine of Pentacles right next to the deck, that's definitely you. And uh, this is a card of somebody who's got standards, somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, somebody who knows their worth, somebody who is in the center of attention. You know, that type of the energy. It's also a card of a single person, by the way. <laughs> so keep that in mind. So that's what I have for you, Virgo, so far. All right, so a bit of a dilemma. All right, so let's take a look at the advice part real, real quick. So here's the advice, Virgo, for what we saw in the first spread. We have the Emperor, the Ten of Pentacles, the Star, and uh, we also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is so straight to the point, Virgo, that I did not even have to clarify anything. If you want 
Virgo. This person could be your future spouse if you want this. This is the advice spread. What, what could happen? What could be? The Emperor could be an Aries you're dealing with, but the Emperor often comes through as a future spouse, future husband, future significant other figure. Right? The Ten of Pentacles is a card of a commitment to marriage, rock solid commitment to marriage, as a matter of fact. The star right next to the deck could be an Aquarius, you know, but the star is a card of a wish come true. Something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. So perhaps don't judge the book by its cover, <laughs> Virgo. And I'm saying it with love. I'm saying it with love, of course. We also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, it is a soulmate card. It is a card of uh, unconditional love. It is a card of when two people feel the same way towards one another. So yeah, you can do whatever you want with it. I think you're gonna, you're gonna take time to, um, uh, to before you, you move forward with this person. That's typical of you, Virgo. Virgos like to get to know people. Virgos like to be sure about the future. Virgos like to plan ahead. And that's just the way you guys are and that's awesome. I, I always thought of this as your fortes. Virgos, right? So yeah, take your time. If you want, this person could be your future spouse, Virgo, really. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's what we have so far. Let's move on. Spread number three is the next good thing that'll happen to you, that'll at least put a smile on your face. Here's the last spread, Virgo. This is the next good thing that'll happen to you, that'll at least put a smile on your face. We have uh, the two of pentacles clarified by the seven of pentacles. We have the four of ones clarified by the fool. And we have the Six of Wands clarified by the Ace of Swords, and we also have Death on the bottom of the deck. I can interpret this spread a couple of different ways. Uh, if you have a Scorpio in, their in your life, and it's, uh, I don't know, their birthday coming up, and you're invited, I think you should go. Right? I think you should go. Something good, something awesome is going to come out of that. You will, when you are... When you go back, when you come back from that birthday party, something amazing will have, will have happened by then, if I can speak. All right, death on the bottom of the deck is a Scorpio card, and uh, the two of pentacles, the first card that came out, perhaps this is you like, uh, should I stay or should I go? All right, and uh, if you do go, the rest of the spread will play out. The four of wands, the fool, the fool this is you actually going, taking a leap of faith. Right, the four of ones is could be a card of um, like a family. Uh, every once in a while, the four of ones comes through as a card of like a celebration. Right, um, and uh, then we have the six of ones clarified by the ace of swords. So this is you going back from that birthday party, feeling good about what happened, because <laughs> the six of ones is a card of victory, success. The ace of swords is a card of clarity. It's a very decisive energy. So perhaps you're going to meet somebody there, and uh, this will somehow play out in your benefit or something like that. But for others of you, Virgos, this spread could be a repeat of the first spread. You know, the Seven of Pentacles, all the way to your left, kind of hints on that. Because in the first spread, we also had the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> right? And the Death card on the bottom of the deck, uh, it doesn't have to be a Scorpio. Perhaps this is you changing, your life changing. All right, perhaps with this person, things will have to change. Like I said, maybe you already had like a vision of how this person is supposed to be, and uh, you will just have to adjust it a little bit. Not dramatically, not a lot, but remember me saying the universe has a really good sense of humor? Yes, it's true. All right, and uh, if you do give this a chance, Right? Then the rest of the spread play, will play out, right? The four of ones could be a card of a commitment of marriage. The full clarifying it could be you taking a leap of faith, jumping in with this person at some point in the future, right? And uh, the six of ones clarified by the ace of swords, this is you feeling like you've won, like you've succeeded, like you've scored with this person. All right? So yeah, interpret this however you want, but those are the two scenarios I see. All right, Virgo, so yep, that's pretty much all I got for you. That's it. Um, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Virgo, have an amazing the rest of October.